Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Today I'm going to talk to you about inheritance. Inheritance is a very important object-oriented programming uh, feature. What it is, is being able to use a class's content um, and making a subclass that inherits from what would be the superclass or parent class. And the way to think of this is a parent and a child, where the parent has, let's say, has uh, certain variables and certain methods, or all variables and methods, um, and the, you can create a child class that extends the parent class. That's the, the the keyword in Java is extends, and that will give the child class all of the functionality that the parent class has plus whatever you add to the child class. So the point of what this is, is to make a hierarchy of general to specific. And in my case today, I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to use the example, let me comment this out so we don't get a bunch of errors. I'm going to go from vehicle to car and and then from car you can you know keep getting more specific and the point is is if you want to write out uh, I'm gonna have a method or I'm gonna have some variables called the year in the make of the of a vehicle well a car also has those those variables but to save yourself from coding a lot of extra stuff it would be nice to just write a simple word extends and it will throw all of that all those methods into the child class so let me start coding so this makes sense alright so we're going to we have a driver class this is where I'm going to instantiate um, the classes and run them but let me create parent class or super class which is vehicle and I also want you all to know that the object class in java.lang.object is the super class of every class in Java. It is the highest of the hierarchy. So everything um, extends that class. And when you write, let's see, right. I'm going to come back to what that point I was just making about how everything is extended from the object class. I want to get a little bit more code written in so I can give you a good example. Here, I'm going to give this vehicle a make and a year. And then we're going to write constructor vehicle that's going to take in the make and the year. So this dot make is make this dot year is year. Ah. Alright. Well, let's give it a give it two get methods and so I don't have to write this all out what you can do is go to source and say generate getters and setters and what we're going to want to do is go to get make and get year I'm not worried about set make or set year for this example so say okay and then let's make a two string Uh, there is an automatic two string. If you do not write a two string, that uh, will print out the object's location and memory. And when we write our own two string, that is overwriting java.lang.object's two string. So there's one example of how object is the parent class of all classes. But that's not my favorite example of the. So let's say return, let's say year, give it a little space, 
close that off, concatenate that with the variable year, and put more quotation marks. And we're going to say new, we're going to start a new line with a backslash n, which is an escape character for making a new line, real quick. We're going to say make space, we're going to concatenate that with make. Okay, so there is our vehicle class. Now what we're going to do is create a subclass of vehicle class that gets more specific and we're going to call that car. And you can have multiple um, multiple childs but in Java you cannot have multiple inheritance which means let me write this out. Well, what I mean by that is to make vehicle the parent or super class of car, you use the keyword extends and then vehicle. And when I say you can't have multiple inheritance, you cannot have an extending more than one thing. You could in C++ and a solution to having multiple extensions or to not having multiple extensions is when we get into interfaces. That is, you know, kind of getting around the whole multiple inheritance issue and as you can see right now we can add a super constructor to car but I'm not going to auto generate that I'm going to type it out so you can see it in action so we're going to give this just one variable or instance variable and we're going to say public string model okay and now in this constructor if we want to use uh, to continue the constructor from the vehicle class, we're going to use a new keyword and it's called super. So let's say public car and it's going to take in, I'm just going to copy and paste, it's going to take in the same parameters right here plus model. Oops, string model. But since you don't want to have to write this make equals make, because we don't have that up here, we don't have that instantiated, what you do is you call the super class by saying super, and then in parentheses, we're going to say make in year, and put it in like that. There goes all the years. And then, but model is specific to this car class, so we would still have to instantiate, or, uh, point it to model in this way that we've been doing. So this model equals model and let's give it a get model method. I'll just type that out real quick. Public string get model. No parameters and just return model. Alright and now let's let's make a new two string. Public string two string. So what we are going to do is just how we use the super keyword right here to create the constructor. What we're going to do in here is also make a super reference to the two string of the super class, which is vehicle. We're going to say return. We're going to say super dot two string, and then we're going to concatenate that with new line model model and we're going to put in model right. so everything looks good so far and we're going to run into a few problems with the uh, visibility modifiers and if you know what a visibility modifier is which I should probably I'll probably make a video on that right after this or I can teach you within this is private, public, and then there's a new one we're going to get into called protected. So let's start instantiating some of these. Let's just say car C equals new car. This takes in three parameters. I don't know what they are. Make, year, model. So we're there. I'm going to say Toyota 
1010 um, Avalon. So let's do a sys out of C. Let's see what happens. Okay. So as you can tell, we barely, we did not have to write all these codes to get um, everything within here we didn't have to repeat the code very much I mean we did have to write super but that that did not take but two lines of code right here so it saves a lot of coding when you can make a very general class that you can use in more specific classes so you don't have to rewrite this if let's say that we had a car or a truck a uh, uh, motorcycle you know all these things that take in these same variables and methods we would have to write that out as many times as this things we have we that's a pain coders are lazy we want to not write as much as we have to so let me show you how the visibility modifier works also I'm gonna do this this out let me copy that because I'm going to use this a couple times. Let's say one more time. C dot get model. Okay. And I'm going to show you, let's say get year for some weird reason let's just say that this was a private method what that means is the only thing that can use this method is the vehicle class it cannot be seen outside of this class car cannot call this so if I said C dot get first off it's not even available but let me tell you put in C dot get year you're going to get a red line and it says the method get year from the type by vehicle is not visible it says change visible ability of get year to default that's not what I want to do let's see what happens okay so it just gives it nothing which is default I'm gonna give it a public and then let's do one thing that I wanted to talk about specifically was the protected visibility modifier and if I go to the, the subclass or the child class and I wanted to have a method that says public string and I wanted to say get make and which make was defined in the vehicle class as a private variable so let's say we turn Right now you're getting an error. The reason is it says the, the field vehicle dot make is not visible, and the first thing it says is change visibility of make to protective. So if we go to vehicle, as you can see, private means that you cannot change or get information on make or year from outside of this vehicle class. But uh, what we can do in public means you can from any class. But a special case where you want just your your child classes to get the information in here or manipulate it or view it, let's change these to protected. And that's what that means. Is it is visible and usable by the child class, but no no thing else. It's still private to the outside world. So let's go here and as you can see that has gone away. And that is the basic um, basic description of what inheritance is is it shortens your code out it's a key principle in the object oriented programming paradigm so please uh, give a thumbs up to this video please subscribe to my channel and I think the next video will be um, maybe interfaces so we can get into interfaces which is is, is pretty similar to this so this type of idea of of getting methods from a different class 
but we're going to use an interface. So thank you all for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all very much.